French have a great word called terroir, which is about a sense of place, and it can't be replicated anywhere in the world. Our location here on top of the hill is a great spot. We're directly across the bay from Melbourne, um, and on a nice clear day, uh, Eureka Tower lights up in the sun. It's quite nice. We have a special place here on top of the hill looking over Melbourne, over Port Phillip Bay. So people come here, they enjoy the view, they, uh, they taste the wines, they can stay and have a glass um, and we're just trying to shape that experience for people. Scotchman's Hill Winery started off about 1975 when uh, David Brown, who was previous owner, had this dream of owning this property. So uh, he bought it in 1982, the first vineyards were planted and from there we grew from a small beginning of around about uh, five acres to today having around about a hundred acres here at the winery. Our first commercial vintage in 1990, it was quite small. Uh, there weren't a lot of wineries around and people were starting to have a passion and develop a taste for wine. Uh, as time went on, uh, a lot of vineyards were planted in Australia and a lot of overproduction occurred. So we had to be smarter, better at uh, meeting those challenges, keeping our brand out there, and, and also making wines that uh, reflected the time. And the wines today we make are very different from 10 years ago, 20 years ago. The wines we make in 10 years will be totally different. As food changes, styles change, we have to reflect that with our winemaking. One of my main focuses is overseeing production uh, in the winery specifically. Um, and over that time, We've, uh, we've adapted our techniques to suit the style of wine that we're making. Um, we're harvesting differently than we did when I first started 13 years ago. Um, and we find that we're bringing fruit into the winery in a, in a really clean condition. And so we're negating some steps that we may have done in the past. We're not de-stemming. Um, we're going straight into fermenters um, and we're cutting back on multiple, um, multiple handlings in the winery. And the benefit of that is uh, that we're producing, the wine seems to be getting better um, every year. We uh, have a philosophy that will marry uh, sort of very traditional winemaking techniques uh, with a more modern scientific approach. But uh, as I get older, I uh, become more hands off and trying to make wines uh, probably more with a European feel uh, rather than the sort of state of the art scientific way. So, a lot of our winemaking, uh, we're using wild or indigenous yeasts and also malolactic fermentations and really uh, wanting the wines to express themselves. We're seeking out new technologies that may help us improve efficiencies and processes within the winery, um, but are also gentle on the wine. We use flotation as a means to separate juice, um, and so we're cutting down on our, on our footprint with uh, reduced reliance on refrigeration and, and time and settling. So we can speed up processes, we can get a better result. The 2016 vintage um, is an early one from our point of view. We started our harvest 10 days earlier than we ever have historically. So um, some of the challenges faced with that was getting um, all our whites in before our reds were ready to get picked. We've managed to, um, to juggle that balance really well. Scotchman's Hill is uh, a group of people that have got a lot of passion for what they do, the wines they make, the vines that uh, they're tending and the fruit they're growing and everybody's been, or most people have been here a long, long time. In the early 90s, we did very well uh, with our wine, especially Pinot Noir and Chardonnay, and got some great awards. And they have sort of continued over time. And last year, we were lucky to be runner up in the Great Sh uh, Australian Shiraz Challenge with our 13 Scotchman Shiraz. I guess there's probably no bigger compliment to a winemaker is to talk to someone and they've said they can recall a time or an event or a special occasion where they've had your wine and they enjoyed it with family and friends. Probably the biggest kick I get is when I go out and I see people drinking the wine in a restaurant or you go around to someone's place they don't know who you are and they just go I, I love the wine um, and yeah that's probably the biggest kick I get out of it. Our main goal going forward is to really just lift our quality to another level and we're working very hard in the vineyard and the winery for that to occur. Our domestic market is quite strong but it's, uh, it's nice to see at the moment that 
uh, emerging markets in Southeast Asia and, and China in particular are, are becoming a, a good focus of our export. We've just recently exported to Sweden, which is a new market and quite exciting. I'm most proud of where we've come from. Uh, from I've been here 28 years and turned up here and I was a boy in short pants, uh, learning my craft. Uh, the winery was learning its craft to where we are today, where we're a highly successful winery, always learning. Um, and as a great web wine, we keep getting better and better with age. Over the 13 years that I've been with Scotchman's Hill, um, we've been constantly changing and adapting to the natural environment um, with different viticultural practices, uh, different practices within the winery, with the same aim to replicate what's happening in the vineyard and producing that into great wine and getting that into bottle. To me a great wine is one that people enjoy and love. It, does, it can be a $5 wine, a $100 bottle of wine, but if they truly love it, enjoy it, and they want to keep going back and drinking it, and they get a lot of enjoyment out of it, then to me that's what a great wine is.